Hey, so everybody, this is my birthday present that I got. It is a uh, Brute Magnetics 20, oh look, I'm pulling something off, 2,600 pounds, it's double-sided, so it's combined weight of 2,600 pounds magnetic for magnet fishing. And we want to put this on a rope. And if you want to purchase the ropes, they're pretty expensive, so I'll show you how to add a rope to this safely. So we're going to use the Everbuilt products. We have an Everbuilt polypropylene rope that can hold 224 pounds. Then we have the Everbuilt one half inch linked, and this is the it. it I'll show it to you in a minute. This, and then we have the Everbuilt rope and cable system. So all three of these are from the same company, and let me show you how to put this together. So the Everbuilt rope comes with a pre-burnt end, but you might want to burn that some more, so be prepared for that. Some of your supplies are the three things that I showed you. You need to make sure not to use just a regular carabiner. You want to use one of these bolts that spins to lock because this is very heavy I mean it's like you can see my hands are flexed it's very heavy it's probably about 12 pounds I'd say easily it's 12 pounds so you don't want to use a regular carabiner um, unless it is a climbing belay ranked carabiner. Don't use them junk carabiners that you buy in the store. If you're a climber you can get away with it. But you want to use this um, lock bolt. It's threaded so that you can close it back down quite easily and lock in your magnet. The other um, tool that you might need while you're doing this is you will need a wrench of some sort because you want to make sure that these are tight enough that they actually grab onto the rope. So you're going to take the rope, you're going to take this piece, this is going to keep your clamp from wearing your rope out too fast. So you're going to take this piece and you're going to take enough rope to go all the way around it in both directions very tight so I like to put that on there give it a gentle tug get it in there nice and tight and then as close to the end as you can get away with it you want to put your first rope bolt on. So if you look at that again, you've got your metal eyepiece, your rope pulled snugly in, and then your first piece. Then you're going to take your first piece and you're going to put this piece on like so. And you want to get that, like I said, you want to get it as snug to that as you can because you want like, like that that's perfect right there so then you put your pieces on one two Make sure they fit perfectly. So once you get this tight and you're in this position, an extra thing that you can do to make sure that your, your bolts don't come off is you can put a little bit of this thread locker on. This came with my magnet. So the magnet company was good enough to send me that 
for reasons to deal with the magnet, but we're going to use some of this on here. And you just need just a very little teeny tiny bit. Now you wonder why I did that is because that's underneath there but those threads are going to come through. So I want to make sure do some hand tightening first. See that? I wasn't anywhere near that magnet and it sucked my tool in. Got it. Let's just push her away a little bit. See that? It's starting to come through. And that's why I went lower with the Loctite. Okay, so while you're putting these on back and forth, back and forth, you're going to realize that when you make one side tighter, the other side gets loose and you have to tighten that one. You'll end up going back and forth, back and forth until you eventually like pretty much just get ready to break the rope through and you don't need all that pressure. So that's what the Loctite does. When you put it on there and you get it to where you want it and you want to make sure neither one of these are jiggly, that Loctite is in there. It's going to help keep those right where they are. So um, that's what you want to do. Now I'm going to pause for a second and put the other end on and then finish the video. Okay, so I've got this done. As you can see, the metal piece is in there. It's quite secure. I have these two pieces here that have made it quite secure. And I even have an additional loop here that if I choose to put another carabiner with a grappling hook on it, I now have a good spot to do that. So let's go ahead and install our magnets. Now if you were going to do that permanently, you would do that and you would also put some more Loctite on there, but we are not going to do it permanently. We don't need any Loctite, but we are just going to make sure that this and that is tight enough. So, there you have it. This is our 100 foot rope and it has been secured safely and strongly. That's not going anywhere. In two spots, giving us two links and then of course the magnet. very good magnet as you can see. I hope you enjoyed learning how to secure your magnets and there you have it.